We are about to get some expert help unpacking this bombshell new reporting from the New York Times, painting a devastating picture of the eight days between when Donald Trump fired James Comey and the appointment of special counsel Robert Mueller. We now know that time included the FBI deciding to open a counterintelligence investigation into Donald Trump himself to determine whether the president of the United States was secretly working on behalf of Russia. Quote, the decision to investigate Mr. Trump himself was an aggressive move by FBI officials who were confronting the chaotic aftermath of the firing of Mr. Comey and enduring the president's verbal assaults on the Russia investigation as a witch hunt. Quote, a vigorous debate was taking shape among some former law enforcement officials outside the case over whether FBI investigators overreacted in opening the counterintelligence inquiry during a tumultuous period at the Justice Department. Joining us now is Frank Figliuzzi, NBC contributor, national security contributor, and a former assistant director of the FBI's counterintelligence department. Frank, thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Joy. Uh, I just want to start by asking you what jumps out um, to you, as a, a, given what you've done, uh, given what you've done for a living uh, in this reporting. So there's a couple of, of takeaways here. I think it's important to talk about what this reporting uh, says and what it doesn't say. What it says, if accurate, is that the impetus of the special counsel inquiry, or what turned into the special counsel inquiry, was not necessarily just figuring out the degree to which the Russians influenced the campaign, but rather now we're faced with kind of a worst-case scenario that we've all been talking about, which is the possibility that the president had somehow been co-opted and was in the pocket of the Russians. So let's understand what that, what that means. It, it means that the FBI had, at a minimum, a threshold to open a preliminary inquiry, which we call reasonable suspicion as a threshold. But it then went to a special counsel, which likely means it went to a full investigation. That threshold is specific and articulable facts that someone is or may be an agent of a foreign power. And that would not be done in a vacuum. That would have gone across the street to Department of Justice. It would have been approved. And then, of course, we know that the DOJ said, you know what, we need a special counsel increase. So now we're seeing what the real origin of this was. Now, here's what it doesn't say, Joy. It doesn't say that they proved it. It doesn't say that that aspect of the case is still running. Um, and we, we don't know whether it was a PI, preliminary inquiry, or a full. So there's some unanswered questions here, but it is really sobering to think that maybe, if this reporting is right, that Donald J. Trump, that name was in the header, in the subject title, of a counterintelligence investigation. You know, and Frank, there have been several instances of things that Donald Trump has done that have really raised the alarms and put people's hair on fire about what he's doing and why. You know, mouthing Russian talking points on, on the invasion of Afghanistan by the Soviet Union, um, uh, the, the performance in Helsinki and the solicitousness with which he deals with uh, Vladimir Putin in general. But in, this, in, in, in uh, this reporting in The New York Times, they point out one thing that Donald Trump did that caused the FBI to feel more confident and validated in taking what was an extraordinary step, as you just said, in opening this preliminary inquiry into the president of the United States. And that was the visit by Russian officials who were let into the Oval Office shortly after the firing of Mr. Comey, in which Donald Trump, there's a picture of it right there, where the report, where, where there were not Americans in the room, I guess, that were monitoring what was being said, in which he supposedly told these men from the Soviet Union, or from the Russia, from, sorry, from Russia, I just fired the head of the FBI. He was crazy, a real nut job according to a document summarizing the meeting. I faced great pressure because of Russia. That's taken off. What do you make of that? Does that make you rethink that Oval Office meeting? Well, I, I, wanna, I, I keep pointing out, and this is a mantra that I, I, know, I know you've heard me repeat, which is that there's so much more to this iceberg that we're not seeing. And I want the American people to know, because they're, they're, they're going to hear inevitably from the White House that this is all part of a deep state. This is all part of uh, an FBI that was out of control. But I, I want the American people to understand that the FBI is privy to all kinds of intelligence, highly classified intelligence, and that if you're going to open a case, as the New York Times reports, on the president of the United States, 
you are going to have more than just unstable behavior and public behavior. You are going to have something that gives you at least a reasonable suspicion, if not specific and articulable facts. What does that mean without getting into actual classified? It means they've got intercepted communications. It means they're, they're privy to what, how these Russians were talking about the president or to the president. So when we hear that a case was opened on the president, I'm, for, based on my 25 years of experience and having run the counterintelligence division, I'm telling you there's more than just the crazy public behavior to this. Wow. Frank Figluzzi, uh, former assistant director of the FBI's counterintelligence division. Thank you so much for making some time to be here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Thank you. Wow. What a Friday night. Much more to get to. Much more to get to when we come back. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.